Hey everybody, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and get the body sprayed again. David again with Shadow Six Creations. So, got a couple things we're gonna do. We're going to get the underbelly coat for the engines. Um, we're gonna be using right between these two as a reference point for where to end the, the gray camouflage. We're also gonna work on being on carefully getting um, re making sure that we have all of the gray or get the green uh the bot the uh the olive drab done so let's go ahead and dive right in let's get back to it first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get those out of the way now i've gone ahead and mixed up some olive drab with some distilled water i generally use a one to three or four ratio for distilled water Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, one just a second here. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get along this body a little bit. So what we're gonna base, what we're basically doing is just redoing a coat of the olive drab because some of it is coming up over the um, onto the main side of the aircraft, and we don't want that. We don't want it to go too high, so we're gonna be carefully just respraying a little bit along the sides. A second here while I get myself oriented. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's take a look at this. Got a little bit in the back section that we need to do. Especially that big nasty spot right there. Now, um, we're gonna need to be careful when we're doing the tail. If we hit if we hit it a little bit on this underside, that's fine. But you know what we're actually gonna do? Since I don't have tape with me at the moment, um, Let's take a look here and see what we've got. Ah. As a matter of fact, I do. I have some of this. So we're going to go ahead and use this just to tape off that tail section a little bit. I don't want paint. I don't want the olive drab hitting the tail. Um, because of all that work that we did. So we're just going to put down a few pieces. Because all we're doing is we're trying to get the side right here. Let me... Let me lift it up. So we're just trying to get this piece right in here. Uh, that's what we're aiming for. So we're just going to tape that off just a little bit. Okay. Now, for the spraying, I'm actually using a 0.2 millimeter needle and head. Um, the 0.2 millimeter is dominantly for detail spraying. Um, my pressure is a little high on my compressor, but that's okay because we're just doing some general spraying at the moment. Um, but normally we would go ahead and adjust that and fix that. Okay. Go ahead and tape off this other area. Almost where we need to be, but I am almost out of this roll. But fortunately, I've got some others. Okay. If you hear snoring, sorry, that would be Rashi. She's got to be where Daddy is. I asked her if she wanted a different color of, of her fur, but she kind of snorted at me, grabbed her toy, and threw it at me. So I'm assuming that's a maybe, but hey, that works. Okay. Here we go. So, again, we're going to be very careful. Do a real quick test spray, make sure I've got flow. Just need to adjust this just slightly. There we go. Okay, here we go.
just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and focus on this other side. Now you want to be very careful when you're doing that, of course. There we go, now we're getting there. Been a long time coming. We only started this project at the beginning of the year. But better late than never. All right. So, let's go ahead and look at that. Now, let's get a couple bits of tape because we're also going to do right here. Um, so, let's go ahead and get that ready. And as a matter of fact, I just found my roll of one-inch masking tape, so I'm quite happy. Okay. So, we're going to do the same thing here. So, we're going to put it right there and press it down on the wing um if you have something like i so i use these clay modeling tools to kind of help press tape into position just to flatten it all the way along because what we're focusing on is right here that's what we're going to be focusing on so um just be careful when you're doing that don't scratch your paint at the end of this we are going to be putting a clear coat over it once I'm sure that I have everything painted on the body and it's looking good then I'll do my clear coat um, next week I will have to go back up north for some more medical appointments and uh, for my wife's birthday still not sure what to get her <laughs> any any suggestions in the video please for her, uh, birthday present she likes woodcrafts uh, and stained glass, anything like that. So comment below. But anyways, enough of that. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now, the other thing we're going to do, uh, because I don't want to be messing up this paint down here. Um, let's see. i to adjust this a little bit. Now, a little bit of the engine is actually, um, with this color as well. So... What we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna be very careful when we're spraying right there to see how, um, to see how it lays down because I don't want anything on the hard work that we've put into on the gray already. So we're just gonna kind of fold that up and under. Just be very careful of your paint. go now Vallejo paint once it dries it's actually pretty solid so don't stress too much but as usual when you're taking off your tape be careful anyways it's always good practice it doesn't matter if you have higher low quality paint okay so there we got that protected now we're also going to do this section too because I don't want again we're not we don't want to mess up the hard work that we've already done on the underbelly. Now there's going to be some spots that I will probably have to work on respraying just a little bit, especially like right there. Ugh, that came out terrible, but that's okay. We'll we will get that addressed here in a bit. Okay, so I'm just doing this quickly, and all I'm doing is I'm placing it fairly close to the wing, and or fairly close to the engine. Now, as soon as I'm done here, I will show you that way you can see um, as well. Make sure that's good. That's good. Okay, we'll do a little bit extra along this edge just to be safe. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. Now, the other thing we got to do is we got to spray. It's, it's going to be a little bit tricky because, yeah, if you want to, you can keep some gray under there. Um, if you look at pictures of the B7 of the B25, and also on the box of this kit, you'll see that it is a little bit of the gray underbelly. But that we'll get that figured out. If if it works out good, then not. If not, that's okay. Okay. Real quick adjustment. Oh, 
Oh, that's why it's a little bit clogged. Okay, one moment here. Much better. Okay, there we go. Get my nozzle back on a little bit. Golden, okay, so here we go. And there's that side. Let me get my Humvees out of the way. Yes. Okay. Now, I'll, sh I'll, I'll explain what I did. So I've got the wing lifted like this, and I'm purposely aiming down onto the tape a little bit. Reason being, so it doesn't all come up onto that side. So this is kind of how it's looking. So I still maintain the gray camouflage, but I'm not affecting the wing itself because of the tape. So um, little tricks that you that little tricks that you can do for that. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the engines. So I'm gonna aim down more towards. I'm gonna start on the tape. So start on your tape. Okay, just like that. So I'm not using the full pressure that's behind my um, airbrush because one, I have it set a little too high, um, so I haven't adjust adjusted it, and two, it's a little bit more controlled, not as much as coming out to risk painting areas that you don't want. So again, I need to adjust the wing just slightly. Let me let me actually move everybody down so I can kind of show you a little bit better. Okay. So it may be hard to see, but uh, so I'm sorry. Okay, just like that. Second engine. So I'm kind of aiming for this line. There's a natural line right there on the plastic. That's kind of what I'm aiming for, all right? Now again, I'm no expert when it comes to airbrushing, but there's a little trips, little tricks that I've picked up over my time of doing this. Okay, here we go again. Go. Looks like I got a little bit of splatter on that gray, so we might have to make a couple of adjustments. Now, we're also going to redo the tail section back here. Um, a little bit of the gray got on there. That's okay. Um, like I've said before, I like to do things live in my video, not rehearsed. So, that being said, let's go ahead and tape everything off again. Now the other reason too that you want to push it down, especially on the seams, is you don't want your paint to leak. Your paint can actually leak out onto the other parts of your model. And then that's when you gotta go back in and redo everything and it's a pain in the butt. Now keep in mind, you don't have to have a airbrush or a compressor to do this. You can do it by hand. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how I started out. I've had my compressor for a couple of years, and I only use it on big jobs like what we're doing here, like on the body of something. So let's go ahead and, okay. Uh, at this point, I can also do the bottom. Okay, 
Now, let me do this side. As a matter of fact, we'll do that very tip. And then, let's, oh, yep, I'm knocking everybody all over the place, earthquake, sorry. Okay, especially like right there, so you can see like right there. Okay, got that, got that, now let's flip this up. I'm redo the tail a little bit. Okay. Any spots that you see that you might have missed. Okay, there. There we go. Okay. Awesome. So there. Let me go ahead and maneuver him a little bit. Beautiful. Now here's where it's going to get a little tricky. Um, we need to do the engines, the actual props and such. So the problem that I came across is that I, when I was on my medication, unfortunately, I wasn't thinking when I went ahead and did these. So I need to do these correctly. So what we're going to probably end up having to do is I'm going to seat these on. And what I'm going to do is just going to tape them in place. Now, I'm going to give you a little hint on these. Let me move you back up. Okay, let's take a look. So if you're looking inside, you see this little notch. Let me point this out. A little notch right there. That's going to line up. On the mount right there okay so that's on both sides so it'll make your life a little bit easier um, the fun part though is once I get those sprayed and everything I need to clean off this paint um, which is not gonna be hard because I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a file to kind of brush that down a little bit um, let me see if I can find one here I may potentially have no but I do have some sandpaper so there we go all right so real quick first things first let's get this old let's get this paint out of the airbrush that way we're not clogging anything up um, this is just gonna be a real quick thing so, now what I do is I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol and um, I'm going to apply some back pressure to it here in a second so I can get it cleaned out for the next color. Now back pressure, basically you push on your nozzle and that creates, that lets uh, the paint back up and bubble and work on getting everything out of your nozzle. Okay, so let's do this. I'll take a good solid lint free cloth and just push it down in there to get as much of the paint out as we can. There we go. Spray that last little bit into a little bottle. Now, um, if you're using airbrush, what I recommend is like every week or so, get a little bit of lacquer thinner, actual lacquer thinner, take out all of the components that have rubber seals. You put this thing in lacquer or alcohol or anything like that, it will destroy your seals so fast, and then you're kind of screwed. Okay, there we go. So, when you're doing it, you let it soak overnight in a bath of uh, lacquer thinner. Um, some people may say, yes, do that. Others will be staunchly adamant, no, don't do that. That's what I found works, and my seals are good. So, okay, so we got that cleaned out. Let's go ahead and work on sanding down where that's going to mount to, okay? Now, being very careful, by this time the paint has dried... 
looking really good looking really good now I'm gonna fold this up a couple of times and then so I'm doing it right at this edge now if you get right there if it sands down right there don't worry too much because that's gonna hide it okay so just be careful but don't stress and we're getting some bare plastic which is very good now you if you don't want to go all the way around it don't but I will only because I want a good solid mating surface for when we glue the actual motor on. There we go. Now I am going to respray that engine just a little bit, so I'm not too concerned. Just be safe. I'm gonna take a razor blade and kind of scrape down a little bit. So I have a better surface. You want plastic on plastic, you don't want plastic on paint. It's not gonna adhere, especially with the Citadel paint that I use. Because the Citadel paint, like I've said before, chemically melts and bonds the plastic together that way. <sighs> okay. Let me go out of frame for just a second while I look at this in the light and while I knock everybody around. <sighs> okay, here we go. Do the second side. Now, if I had a file with me, it would be faster. But since I don't at the moment, I'll just do it this way. Okay. Go. Go out of frame for a bit. There we go. Now it's coming together. All right. We go. Now we're getting there. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to get bare plastic on plastic so we can have it bond together now keep in mind that this is going to be drying overnight so it's going to help with the plastic glue to, to bond and dry on the other side okay slowly but surely okay one more for good measure on the top <sighs> booyah okay now so like I said we got to get down here. We're going to line it up with the engine where we've painted so far. But what we're going to do is we're going to tape it in place. So we're just going to line that up. So we're going to also use some tape to keep it right where we need it. So we'll line that up. And then 
wood or paint or glue it, but um, tape it down. We're going to do that on both sides as well. Okay. Do that on this side. Do the same thing. That way, when this all dries, I can go ahead and fix the paint on the propeller itself, on the cowling, um, and get it correct. Okay, let's make sure that's seated. Now, when we're doing this, we want to make this as flat as we can. And that is going to be a little... Okay, let's turn that back over so we can make sure that's right. Okay, now... Have to be careful, have to be quick, because this needs to say seated right where it's at. Because I don't want to mess, I don't want to mess up the paint um, where I'm trying to spray. I want this, basically I want it even all the way across so it lines up. That's the, there, that's the better way to explain it. Now, since I almost shook that completely open, that would have been a very bad day. Let's go ahead and get some of this really light gray. Let me make sure we got a good spray. All right, here we go. Getting a clog, hold on. There we go, much better. I'm gonna move this around. So I'm doing this complete underside of this engine. it back in place a little bit there we go there's one Okay, now I do need to do a little bit of work on the panels. Okay, a little bit of damage over here. There we go. Okay. Just about done.
Okay. Yep, that engine just fell off. That's okay. Beautiful. Okay, a little bit back here. Okay. There we go. So that is the body. All painted. Okay, let me empty this out real quick. Empty it, clean it, and then get back to everybody on the video. All right, give me one second here. Almost done. Okay, we'll do that. Now, um, as you can see, the one engine has kind of popped off the tape a little bit. That's okay. I've got everything set the way I need. Um, might be a little bit of, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of touch up with the green, which is just fine with me. I have no problem doing that real fast since we're already got everything taped off. So let me get this cleaned out real quick. Okay, now let's quickly go ahead and do right along there. Not much, just enough. Ooh, hoo -hoo. yeah, I came out a little strong. Okay, now again, I'm pointing down. Okay, there we go. Now, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is just because a lot of the stuff back then was hand painted or real quick spray just to quickly apply. It's not going to be perfect. Not a thing wrong with that. Um, this is World War II we're talking about. We're talking quick fixes, um, quick paint jobs. Uh, I mean, if you look at a prime example would be the T-34 of Russia. I mean, good grief, some of those, a lot of those left without aiming, without without the aiming scope, the aiming system, very basic, no paint. I mean, it was basically, build it and get it out. Literally, all it was. Um, so, it's, it's okay with the way it is. I'm happy with that. So, let me get this thing cleaned out real quick, and then we'll address everything else everything else that we're gonna to do tonight my goal is to get this ready for the weekend to be able to do to continue construction on it and hopefully by the time I get back or maybe even before we'll have this thing ready for display okay and nice and clean okay that's all said and done. Let me put my nozzle back on. And then let's take a look at it. Beautiful. Okay. Kick that off. All right. Now, let's take a look here. Okay. So there's going to be a few things that we're going to have to do. Okay. One. We're going to have to... I'm going to leave that where the way it is. Um, that's where I had to sand, but you know what? Honestly, that actually, I like the way that looks. It gives it a little bit of a worn age look to it. Now comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and take that off. These I will, I will be getting done by hand, and I will show everybody once they're done. 
and I will more than likely glue them on. Okay. Now again, be very careful when you're taking off your tape. this other side <laughs> the dog heard something of course she did okay there we go let's get this other side it's gonna be a little bit trickier oh there we go not too bad at all Let's flip this. Oh. oh, hold on. Without bumping everybody, let's get that side. A little smudge there. A little bit of uneven paint. It's okay. I'll fix that later. If I absolutely have to or want to, I can always just do another coat of olive drab. Which probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but we'll go from there. Okay, so there's one. Oh, you dirty bugger. Come on. Be careful. There's our top side. Okay. that underside there's that underside voila now let's go ahead and get the tail come on there we go Be very careful with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. There's that. Oh, she lay down. It's okay. We're almost done, puppy. Yeah. Almost done with this video. This is exciting to. Oh, that wing. That tail piece just popped off a little bit. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We'll get that fixed here real quick. Too much pressure on that side, but that's that's okay. That's not a problem. Okay. There's that and that. Now, good learning example right here. Your piece popped off. Okay. Oh no! What am I gonna do? So this is what I do. Every time I have a piece pop off, okay, take and clean it. Clean it off. Take it down to bare metal. Be careful of that post. That post is very important on this model. And then just carefully Okay, so now lift that up, get that tape out of the way first, stop knocking it all over the place. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, that's cleaned off, that's cleaned off, looks like that piece is popping off a little bit, that's okay. Now I'm going to take my glue, give it a good healthy dose right there and right there, 
And then slide that back into place. Okay, that's actually not gonna work too well. So, nope, that's actually working just fine. I didn't think it was seating all the way. Okay, now with that, <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. So with that, let's do this. Let's take a little bit of that used tape and let's keep that bit up and down for the night. Okay, voila. So you've seen what we've done. We've got everything sprayed. I will probably go back here in a little bit and just respray that myself. Um, you know what? Since we're already here, why not? I like being able to do everything, do this for everybody. So let me. Ooh. Here we go. Now keep in mind that I'm not doing anything on the underside, okay? I'm not hitting that underside at all. Okay, and there is that for this video. So, uh, paint is ready to go. We're, we're all done with the, but with the paint on the body. Um, what I'm going to be doing in between now and this next video, um, I'm going to be looking everything over, figure out what all we got to do next. If you're following along, then you kind of already have an idea as to what to do. Um, but if you want to wait and see... Um, Definitely not a problem with that. What I'm going to do is make sure the paint is good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ready uh, for decals. So basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to get the rest of everything assembled. And I'm just cleaning out my airbrush while I'm talking to everybody. So we'll get everything ready. We're gonna we're gonna go back in. We're gonna paint some areas that, that have a different color scheme. Um, I know the tail gun and that section uh, is completely the wrong colors. So prime. Uh, so the guns are gonna be a really nice uh, gun metal, and I've got a color already picked out for that. So not a problem there. So in the meantime. Um, Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you all for getting the channel to 70 subscribers now. Thank you guys very much for that. Um, I like doing these videos for you. You guys are the reason why I do this. Um, plus my love of history. So thank you for 70 subscribers. Uh, let's keep it going and I will see everybody later.